How many know that the Lord is good? There's a, a scripture, and I only quote part of it. But I want you to realize, and I want you to hear me tonight. In 1 John chapter 3. Verse 8. For this purpose. Yes, Jesus. I want you to hear me good yes. tonight. Yes. For this purpose. Yes. Yes. And if you look at the word purpose, it means for your situation. Yes. Or for the reason. Amen. Amen. Or for anything. Amen. It could be an obstacle in the way. Yes. Yes, Jesus. For this Yes. Amen. Yes. The Son of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. The Son of God. Yes. I said the Son of God. Yes. Jesus. Thank you. 
chapter two. Oh, my God, thank you, Jesus. I want to say thanks to my appreciation for letting us come and be in the Bible. We appreciate it. Open up the doors. And thank God for Sister Horsley. I'm near glad that she's here in church. Thankful for the sister coming back tonight. We appreciate everybody that's been here. We thank God for you. We thank God for you. You've been such a blessing to us. We thank the Lord for Sister Linda, Sister Connie, Sister back there in the white. We appreciate Sister Rhonda. I feel no love. Sister Rhonda, we appreciate the dinner to yesterday or to today. today. And my little toe is still full, Sister Tommy. <laughs> thank God, man. I appreciate the Lord for everything He's done for me. Hey, man, most of all, I'm thankful that I'm saved. And I'm sanctified. And I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm thankful to the Lord of the Lord. I'm thankful that the Holy Ghost is here. That Jesus is here. And that even now, He's walking these aisles. Looking for those that are wanting Him to touch them. Thank you. 
We read here in the book of Judges about how the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. And Joshua had looked at them and he said, Choose you this day whom ye will serve. But he said, As for me and my house, Come on. we will serve the Lord. Yeah. We're going to praise the Lord. Yeah. We're going to go all the way for the Lord. Yeah. Nothing's going to dissuade us. Nothing is going to persuade us. Yeah. Nothing is going to knock us out of the race. No, no we're going all the way yeah. for the Lord. Yeah. The devil ain't going to put weights on us that are going to knock us over. Yeah. We ain't going to have no weights that are going to slow us down. Yeah. No, we have chosen to serve. Too many of them there. There is no way that we can win the battle. 
my brothers and sisters, when they cried to the Lord, the Bible says I cried unto the Lord and he heard me Come on. and delivered me from all my fears. He said in Psalms, he said, Thou hast delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. In other words, you picked me up right when I was about to die. You picked me up when I called on you. You saved me right when nobody else could save me. He lifted me up under the miry clay. He set my feet on a rock and established my door. The Lord did these things for me. Yes, he did.
getting tired of waiting. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That afternoon, Elijah looked at him and said, Get in. Your God must be asleep. Oh, or it must be on a journey. Come on. Or it must be asleep and cannot be awakened. Oh, Lord, and my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My Bible then tells me about the time of the evening sacrifice. It lied to him. Lord, yes, yes. Bless him, Lord. And he began to rebuild yes. the altar. Yes, Lord. He began to do and return to the ancient landmark. Yes. The twelve stones. Representing the twelve tribes of Israel. He began on the level side. He began to build it up higher. And higher. And higher. And higher. Then he commanded the wood to be brought. And he set the wood according to how God had commanded it to be set. He set it in order. The way God had commanded it to be set. Then he took the bullock and put it on the altar and cut it. And he said, Oh God of Abraham, yes. Isaac and of Jacob, yes. that these may know that there is still a God in Israel. Yes. That they may know that you are still God. Yes. And that you answer prayer. Yes. But before he had prayed, he did something that made it impossible. Oh, something on the Somebody crazy tonight. God's gonna do something great tonight. He said, bring the water. And pour the water all over the sacrifice. Bring the trench around it. Do it again. Do it again. And the Bible says that he saturated the sacrifice until it not only was saturating the sacrifice, but it also ran down into the trench and filled the whole trench. He said it's impossible that this sacrifice can be burned. Come on, come on. And all of them male prophets come on. and the prophets of the grove. Come on. Here they are bleeding yes. and mutilating come on. and getting ready to die. Yes. And here all Elijah had done was built an altar yes. and did it the right way. Yes. Yes. And a miracle was fixing to happen.
Sister, my Bible tells me in the book of First Peter, 
God said, yes. He that lies with mankind yes. as He does with the woman, yeah. it is an abomination unto the Lord. Yes. And He shall die. Yes. God killed two cities. Because that's all their filthy minds could think of. But this is the thing, Brother Horsley. He sent two angels to warn them first. He sent Lot into Sodom and Gomorrah to tell them first. But when they wouldn't turn from their ways, God sent fire and pit soul from heaven. And now if you go to the region or to the area where Sodom and Gomorrah once stood, wow. there's nothing but salt there. Wow. And Sister Horsley, when you sow salt in a garden, that garden will never right. live again. Wow. That's right. God turned that place in a place of utter destruction. He turned it into a place where it would never live again. A God of mercy, a God of love, and a God of judgment did that. But then we read about another city by the name of Nineveh. And the Lord sent a prophet into Nineveh. And my, my Bible tells me that he told the prophet to tell him. He said, repent. Repent. For I can't, I can't remember if it was three days or 40 days. But within one of those periods and spans of time, the Lord will destroy the city. And the Bible says that he went through. Repent. Destroy the city. Yeah. Repent, for this is your last chance. Repent, for the Lord yes. will bring destruction. Yeah. Yes. And the Bible says he came to the hear. Repent, the Lord's going to bring destruction. Come on, come on. Servants, go tell every man, every woman, every boy, and the girl. Proclaim a fast. Put off your royal robes. Get your sackcloth on. Repent in dust and ashes. For God will destroy the city. And the Bible says the Lord repented of the evil that he thought to do to them. Yes, he The Lord repented of all that he said he was going to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My Bible tells me that two people came into the church during miracles. The horse and cripples were getting up and walking as the shadow of Peter passed over. Yes, come on. Sister Sharon, my Bible tells me, Brother Donald, that dead people were rising yeah. back to life. Yeah. Then on the first day of Pentecost, 3,000 men and women, boys and girls, were saved. Yeah. Yeah. Then the next day, 5,000 were saved. Yeah. Yeah. And the Lord added daily to the church yeah. such as should be saved. And they brought their money and laid them at the apostles' feet. And my Bible tells me that two people 
thought they could come into the church and lie to the Holy Ghost. They thought they could come in and say, we sold it for this much and we're giving it all to now. We're giving it all to the apostles. Peter looked at Ananias and he said, Why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Ghost? Why has he deceived you? Why have you let him deceive you to lie to the Holy Ghost? Instantly, the Holy Ghost cut him off. And Ananias fell down on his face, dead as a door. It's right. A couple hours later, the Bible says they picked him up, carried him out, buried him. But a couple hours later, a Sapphire walked in. And you have to be so careful with the Sapphires of today. Sapphira can be a woman. Yes. Sapphira can be a man. Come on. Come on. You have to be so careful. Yes. That's why John said, yes. try the spirits yes. and see whether they be of God yes. or whether they be of the world. Yes. Come on. Yes. So Sapphira walked in. Yes. And Peter. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, to give all that we have Come on. to Jesus. 
Jesus. Yes. He ain't demanding all of your money. But he wants your heart. Yes. He's desiring just a little bit of your time. Yes. I'd probably be ashamed to ask how many you prayed and read this morning. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hands because I don't want you to lie to me. Come on. But who has spent time in the presence of the Lord? Who has spent some time in the presence of a God that not even the heaven of heavens can contain? When you don't spend time with Him, Amen. You're making a choice. Amen. You're making a choice. Amen. The Bible that says Judas, in the book of Mark, I believe it's chapter 13 or 14, the Bible says he went and betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver. And then he looked how he could betray him conveniently. Come on. Just a little bit of ease. How he might betray him just as walking down the street. How he might betray this Lamb of God that had come to die for his sins. Come on. Amen. The one that walked with him, yes. talked with him, Mom. slept beside him, yes. shared all of his meals with him, yes. went and watched him heal the lame, heal the blinded eyes, yes. heal the deaf ears, Mom. heal to the devil, casting evil spirits out of legion, yes. doing away with all of the devils that came before him. Yes. The Bible says that Satan filled his heart. But that old scum, that old devil, never been able to. Well, the Lord had already said that it was going to happen. But the devil can only do what God and you let him. The devil can only tempt you. It's when you accept that temptation and you commit the sin. That's when the devil's won over you. Right. Judas accepted Jesus. the 30 pieces of silver. Yes, and Brother Donald, even to the very end, Jesus treated him as a friend. Called him his friend. But my Bible says from the results of Judas's choice, he threw the money down in the temple. Mm -hmm. Judas was worth that money now. Judas, what's that 30 pieces of silver going to buy you now? Yes, Judas, I want to know, what good did you get out of it? Mm -hmm. The Bible says he threw it down. And he ran to a tree. Yes. Wrapped a rope around his neck yes. and jumped off the branch. Yes, he did. And the Bible says his bowels burst asunder. In other words, all of his guts came out. Do this! What good was that money? But then we look at Peter. Oh, Lord. Sister, we look at Peter. And the Lord told him before tonight is over. Before the cock crows yes, 
it is. You will have denied me three times that you even know me. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Peter's sin was almost worse than Judas' sin. The Bible says, Whosoever denies the Son hath not the Father. Amen. And whosoever denies the Father yes, hath not the Son. Amen. The Bible then says, Peter, I don't know him. I've never even heard of this man. Yes, Lord. I've never walked with him. Said, surely you've been with him. Your speech be ready to think. But then he heard the cock crow twice. And he remembered what Jesus had said. And my Bible tells me you ran out. Oh God, have mercy upon me, oh God, according to the loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from thy Right there and there. Yes. He said, Yes, I can lay down here. 
and I can die. I can die in my sins. I can go hate myself like Judas is right now. Or I can get back up again yes, Lord. and keep on walking. <coughs> And Brother Horse that same Peter of Galilee, Simon by name, is the same one that on the day of Pentecost they were all in one place. In one accord. And there came a sound from heaven as of a mighty rushing wind. And it filled. Oh, tonight I wonder what would happen if that same rushing mighty wind would come in that door, would come in those windows, and would Yes, I lied. I know I denied him. 
Come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
could give me one good, if you could give me 5,000 good reasons why we should serve another God, I'll say, you know, I'm not to be a pastor. And I'll go on out the other door. These gods, they couldn't walk. and the man had come. Where were these gods when they were praying for rain? Saying we need rain. Where were they? They were just statues. Man's imagination that the devil had put into some man's thoughts. That that God was a real God. But my Bible says that a God that you can't see, but that you can feel. <laughs>
the oil. Brother Donald said, stretch out your hands. So he stretched out his hands. And he poured that oil all over his hands. He said, God, here on this young boy's hands. And I can't remember exactly the prayer that he prayed over my uncle's hands. But he went home that night. And when he woke up in the morning, his hands were as clean and as clear as his young boy's hands right here. Why? Because he went to the God and answers. That answers. Many of you here in this little church tonight can raise your hand at me and say, He's answering my life. Okay, so you've testified once these words. Answer. But how many can say thousands of times? Hundreds of times. More times than I can remember. More times than I can even remember. So take it a testimony of your own experience. And now we know the experience that God gives. But let's turn to the experience that the God of this world gives. Anybody know who that is? Mm -hmm. Come on. The God of this world. Say, come on, son. You know, you need a high. You need something that's going to take you up to cloud nine. Yeah. Come on. Look at your friends. Look at them. And such a good time. And look at you. Have to go to church every Sunday. Have to be in a Bible every night. Don't you wish you could be out there with them? Mm -hmm. And begin to dash you. Yeah, come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. You know what you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't care what all this says. You don't care. It looks good. It feels good. Do it. Whether it's right or wrong. They're all going to laugh at you if you be seen along the White House or Gospel Church. Come on. And pretty soon, Michael is one of those dope heads with all the other crowds strung out on speed, on LSD, on heroin, trying to find crystal meth. Then he gets to the point where he's stealing to buy them drugs. He gets to the point where he's selling himself to buy them drugs. He gets to the point where it don't matter what he does, he's got to have that drug. Come on. But what the devil doesn't tell Michael is that all the while that drug is going through his body, it's eating up his liver. Yes. That it's shriveling up his brain. Yes. That it's killing him slowly. Yes. Uh -huh. That's right. Pretty soon Michael can't eat. All he thinks about is that drug. Mm -hmm. That drug. He's got to have that drug. What is he going to do? He stole from everybody in the neighborhood without being caught. 
Who is he going to do? He's sold his stuff to everybody in the neighborhood. How's he going to get all of that drug? Finally, Michael is laying on his deathbed. He can't move. He can't talk. He can't walk. He is so weak. Mentally. Spiritually. Yes. Physically. Yes. He's like beating up a dead man again. The devil don't tell him about that. No, he just makes it look as beautiful as he possibly can. Pretty soon, Mama walks in, and Michael's dead. And Satan is really clean. The right yolks to the soul. The victory is taken one more time and cast into the pit of hell. I don't believe in a perfect boy. That's a lie out of the back alleys of hell. There's no such thing as a purgatory. There's an honest to goodness hell. Yes. And if you're not saved, you're going there. That's right. That's right. But then there's another thing. Little Timmy. Brown hair, brown eyes. Oh, Timmy. Don't those alcohol drinks look so wonderful? And aren't they so nice to be around? And Timmy gets strung out by alcohol. But the devil didn't tell him that it was going to take his wife. That it was going to destroy his kids. That it was going to destroy everything that he held to him. Uh -huh. And Timmy dies all alone by himself. Uh -huh. What is the difference?